I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with, we got the chariot, and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, the chariot actually indicates a lot of energy, but keep in mind, it is not a free-for-all. It's not a free-for-all type of energy. It's actually directed, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So, when this card appears, you could be fairly clear on what your hopes and your dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card, it points to determination. It points to ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But remember, you're going to have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. Now, it's with the Ten of Swords, which is actually a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that a situation is stable, well, this is actually a pretty clear answer of no. As you can tell by just looking at the picture of the Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's a card below the word pass. However, try to keep in mind whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and just trust the universe. So, Libra. The Chariot Clarified by Ten of Swords for the recent past energy for you and your person. So what I'm getting here is that um, this person you, you're dealing with, you just jumped right on into it. Things um, took off really fast. Really fast. The Chariot goes fast. Yeah, you could have been planning to do things with this person, or they could have been planning to do things with you. You both just jump right on in. When you get the chariot, it's possible that you could have been tempted to go too far, too fast, or someone was pressuring you that way. So, sometimes it's important to communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and preferences and be honest with yourself about the possibilities yeah so the connection just went really fast you guys jumped right on in there and it looks like it probably was exciting because I'm looking at all the stars that are surrounding the chariot and it looks like there's a beam of light coming from that flower that's sitting on the chariot. That's the two of you. So everything felt good and it felt right, but it's with the, the Ten of Swords here. So, like I said, things took off really fast. Everything felt good, it felt right between the two of you. You two both just jumped right on in. But it looks like, um, It looks like things turned, things changed, and you no longer trust this person, or you just didn't trust that the connection was stable. Yeah, I'm looking at those swords in this person's back. Something happened, something changed, maybe a person changed, but yeah, you know, you no longer trust them. Or you just didn't trust 
that it was a stable connection. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Fool, and it's with the Death card. Now, with the Fool card, it's always an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children are trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is actually considered to be a positive card in the deck. But there could be one thing. It's going to be important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah. As you can see, he's just ready to go without any thought whatsoever. He's a risk taker, this person on the full card. Yeah, because the full can the full card can be a risk taker, somebody that will just run off, take a leap of faith. And what's below him is all blue water. So yeah, it is important. If you're a risk taker like that, it's important for you to watch where you're going. I think that's the Pacific Ocean that's below him. But anyways, it's with the death card. Now, when you get the death card, you have to remember that it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. Um... Because we're all creatures with free will, and such things, they're simply not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, some things, maybe some people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now the transition, it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. So coming up, Libra, the Fool clarified by the Death Card. So yeah, like I said, it looks like things didn't work out between you and this person that you just jumped right on into things with. Didn't work out. You're not trusting it anymore. And it looks like you, you, you realize that you just got to take a leap of faith towards someone else. Or towards some new beginning. Or some new, new person, a new situation. And you're ready to go for it. Yeah, you're ready to jump right up back on into someone else. Yeah. With a death card here. You could just have come to some type of conclusion. Um... The death card, let me just tell you this. It can be about coming to a conclusion. It can be about losing interest. It can be about finality. So, you could be realizing that this, this person is different. They've changed. They're not who they were when you once met them. Or they're not who they were. They're not who you thought they were when you um, jumped into the connection with them. So you come to a conclusion about this connection. You don't. You no longer trust that it's stable. Um, you see that they're different. They're not who you thought they were. So you're taking a leap of faith towards someone else, or towards some something new. Yeah. So you realize you gotta you gotta move on. Life stands. 
life stands still for no one. And it looks like you know this, so there you go, you're off again to the next. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now we got the devil. And the devil is with the nine. Yeah, it's with the nine of pentacles. That's what that is. So when you get the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions, whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. So you could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions. But more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're important too. Now, it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This card, it can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things will, go, things will be going better than you thought ever possible. So, enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. So, the challenge, Libra, the, the, the devil clarified by this nine of pentacles. So, yeah, like I said, you realize you got to refocus your energy now. Yeah, you've come to a conclusion about this. you probably realizing you, things got out of hand. You guys just jumped right on in there. And things just took off too fast. Um, yeah, you could be realizing some things about yourself coming up. Um, yeah, with the devil card, it's showing that... With the devil card clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, it's showing that um, you could be... Um, I'm just looking at the picture of the Nine of Pentacles. She looks like she's in, she's thinking, but she's she's thinking, but she's there's a but there. Nine of Pentacles is actually good. Your money could be good with the Nine of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles, that means a lot of money. And everything is good, but you got the nine here. So, yeah, that's why I'm saying there's a but. And so, what I'm getting is that your challenge. So, so for some of you, you could um, start to feel some kind of way about um, relationships. Because this one looks like it didn't work. You could start to think that maybe you need to do things different, differently, or you could start to just be in some kind of thought mode. Because with the Nine of Pentacles, it's not the Ten, there's a but there. And then you could start to pick up some, your, your, some bad habits that you dropped a long time ago with this Devil card. For some of you, it's overeating. For some of you, it's 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 heavy drinking. Cause that's if you can see the man on the devil card, the card that's above the word challenge. He's there's a man at the bottom on the left. He's feeding his face nonstop. 
And his belly is huge. It's swollen from so much eating. And there's a lady at the bottom right. She's turning up the bottle. So you could be questioning yourself coming up. Like, is is what you're doing, is it the best way to benefit you? Because it looks like you could, for some of you, you're the type that just jumps right on in there. Because look at you. You jumped right on in with a chariot here. And that didn't work so well. You came to a conclusion about that, and that was f finality. That was over. And But you're ready to jump right on into someone else or something else. Yeah, I'm getting, for this reading, it's specific. It's for um, the people that just jump right on in without, without thought whatsoever. Always ready to take a leap of faith towards something. Yeah, but this time around, it looks like you could be maybe trying to um, think about the way you've been doing things. Because, like I said, now you're, um, you could be wanting something good. Yeah, because the Nine of Pentacles is a, can be about a good relationship. You could be wanting a good relationship. But for some of you, you've been on this, this, this maybe a long trail of just jumping on into things and taking a leap of faith and there's always the death card there. So this could be causing you to not maybe not feel so good about the way things have been turning out with your connections and you might start to indulge. Yeah, you might start to pick up your bad habits again um, that you let go a long time ago. Overeating, maybe too much drinking. Yeah, you're not quite satisfied about the way things are going. Yeah. You've been jumping on in there, and things have been just, seems like for a lot of you, you, you get the death card right afterwards. Yeah, this will not resonate with everyone. I'm getting that this is for someone who needs to hear it, for someone who is the type of person that keeps jumping right on into things, um, not getting to know the person before you take a leap of faith towards them. Because you've been on a long trail of this death card with different people. So, yeah, it's, 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 I'm getting that you could start to feel some kind of way. Because you, you do want a good relationship, but, um, it hasn't been happening. It could be a sign to just slow down. Give things more thought, give people more thought, give the connection more thought, get to know the person more before you jump right on in there. Because like I said, you're feeling some kind of way now and it's making you pick up your bad habits. Maybe you quit smoking and now you're picking up the cigarettes again. So, anyways, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Two of Cups and it's with the Five of Wands. Now, with the Two of Cups, it can refer to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, it's with the Five of Wands, which can refer to competition. This could be career, work, or, or it could be romance, family. It can sometimes refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer. And you can be successful. But you'll have to try just to see results. So when this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high. Have faith that um, you'll end up in the place that's right for you. 
You also could be thinking of making a career change when you get the Five of Wands. Just know that you can be successful if so. So your outcome, Two of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands. So Libra, um, yeah, what I'm picking up on is that, I don't know, one of your persons or one of your people, like I said, I'm getting the feeling that you're probably involved with a few people. Um, cause you, you're jumping right on in to things. Somebody could be, um, reaching out to you, one of your persons, um, with the two of cups here. They could be feeling like, um, you're the, they could start to feel like you're the perfect person for them. Or there could be someone that, um, you want to go towards. Because you are ready to um, jump right back on in there with someone. So there could be someone that you have in mind that you feel would be perfect for you. Because the Two of Cups can be about the ideal partner. Someone that you have a deep connection with. Someone that you feel like the connection could turn into commitment, marriage, proposal. Um, but you feel like it would be too challenging for you to come back together with this person. So, with the Five of Wands here, you could feel like it's a struggle, or just too difficult to um, connect with this person. But you've got someone in mind, though. Or maybe someone's thinking about you, and they think you're too challenging. Maybe they feel like they always have to compete or fight with other people too much, too many people in, in your mix. Because if you look at the five of wands, it's a card below the word outcome. This one man is standing off to the side, watching these other men fight each other. So they could think that you bring a lot of competition to the mix. So yeah, those are the two storylines I'm getting, but that's the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people in the reading can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other people, or in this case, the other persons, can be a friend. Family members could be co-workers or situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because, once again, these are... They're general readings, they're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading and take care.